Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Talking with Todd. Uh, I'm JC Shirley, and my co-host is CJ Pierce. And this is the first time I've been back in a what, while, a couple weeks, weeks, something like that. Yeah. Thank you so much to our uh, business partner Sam Raby for standing in for me while I was on vacation. But sorry, Sam, I'm back. You're fired from Todd Pod. I have my job back, and we're joined as always by. Uh, wonderful president, Dr. Todd Hernandez. How you doing, boss? It's good to see you. Good, guys. How are you? Really good. Thank you. So we're uh, about how far close to halfway through summer semester? Uh, probably not quite halfway, okay. but we're a few weeks into it. Yeah. So uh, how's, how's all that stuff going for us? Uh, really well. Um, you know, we're closing in on my third month as the president, and Early on during the announcement, you guys had me on, and we talked about a 100-day plan, and um, that 100 days is just about up, and uh, we've done a lot of really good things. Um, one of the items that I promised and as part of the 100-day plan was um, a focusing of our strategic plan, right? It was, it was stay the course, but you know, are the things that we thought were important last year, are they still important this year? And I promised to have a lot of conversations and, and really focus our uh, strategy for next year and, and I had those. Uh, tomorrow I'm taking the strategic plan with updated goals to the board for approval and then we'll talk about that uh, you know all campus with students and faculty and staff in August. Um, we're in the OASIS right now oh, yeah. and, and one of the items on the, that was not on the strategic plan a year ago but it is part of our goals for the upcoming year is to to take this space and really turn it into a student union, mm -hmm. and that, and that was a that was a very popular voice. Board really wanted to see this place get livened up. Students uh, seemed to really like this this space, and staff and faculty like the the this floor can be a ghost town, and, and yeah. it used to be vibrant, and mm -hmm. people want that back. So we invested in new furniture, and uh, we're going to do more things that, in this space to make it more. Uh, lively, I guess. Yeah. yeah, sure. And that's something that we've talked about a lot in stuff podcasts with you, with some different people here on campus. Um, when I first got to Northwest State, which now feels like a lifetime ago, the, everything was down here. The, the, the snack bar was still open. There was a lot of just activity going on down here. And it's kind of been my thought ever since, I don't want to say that went away, but things, uh, the place where everything happens, the, the focus shifted, kind of missed that you know, it's a smaller space than maybe City Atrium and all these things. And, like, keeping that camaraderie between students alive down here, I think it's really cool. And I think that we're taking steps towards uh, making that happen more. Um, with that being said, though, uh, is there anything coming up, you know, to be aware of that's happening in this space at all? Or anything that we can uh, look forward to coming up in the, the fall semester? Well, um, not necessarily in this space, but I would say uh, kind of launching off of some of the same ideas that brought this space together in esports is you guys are part of a, a big event mm -hmm. uh, in Napoleon. What, what's going on there? See, See how I turned that around? He is, he is interviewing us, and I'll, I'll, I'll take that <laughs> question. Yeah, so we are part of a team putting on uh, an event going on in Napoleon uh, at the Armory and the Emporium um, called Starfight 21. Um, those of you who came out to GameCon uh, in December of 2019, before COVID, um, we had a, a massive uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, um, which is a Nintendo Switch game. If you don't know what it is, just look it up. Pause right here and go look it up. Um, we had 96 people at the past tournament. Um, we're shooting at uh, 120 plus um, for this coming up tournament. There are plenty of spaces open um, for you to, uh, to sign up. But that comes with signing up. There's one cool thing that, that comes with that. Uh, first off, it's free. So you sign up completely free. It um, doesn't cost you anything to get there. Um, and the prize pool for this tournament is $2,000, with first place winning $1,000, um, and then us splitting up the, the money from there uh, for the top 10 finishers um, after first place. So really... Top 11 get paid. I think top 11 get paid, yeah. Um, and if you, you sign up, Free sign up, enter, like you come play, you have a chance to win a thousand dollars, or you know, even if you get eleventh place, a hundred dollars. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be a fun day. We're kind of handling the the business and management side of it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, holler at us. I'm sure we'll be able to answer it. Um, 
But what's our website? For the that? website for that is starfight21.com. Uh, but we'll have there'll be a link someplace around here. Um, but yeah, super cool. The college is uh, is one of the uh, the main sponsors for that event and helping get it put together. And uh, yeah, so super cool, super cool stuff. If you're a local business and you're interested in uh, sponsoring Starfight Twenty One, shoot S us an email. Same thing. Starfight21.com. Go to the bottom. There's a little tab that says sponsorship. Basically, is it really? yeah. Man, we're good. Oh, we didn't do it. <laughs> we're I mean, still I we're just, still good, CJ. Yeah. <clears throat> we're still good. So we kind of transfer back to Northwest State stuff. July first is just around the corner, and for those of you guys who don't know, that is the start of our fiscal year mm -hmm. here at Northwest State. And we've got a. Uh, I know we talked briefly about this, but we have a new executive vice president onboarding on the first, don't we? Actually, we do. Um, he's been participating kind of on and off. He's been in a mm -hmm. few cabinet meetings and. He's going to attend the board meeting tomorrow, kind of remotely. But yeah, his first full, you know, first day of full time is is July first. Um, you mentioned you mentioned the budget. Uh, I want to launch off of that a little bit. I, and I talked about the strategic plan. Um, our strategic plan hasn't changed. There's five pillars: um, academic ec excellence, learning for all, which is about making sure that, that everyone has access to to an education and training. Um, organizational excellence, and, and that pillar brought us the, the Higher Learning Commission re-accreditation, re kind of that, that pillar worked on that. Um, empowered team, which is really about the culture that we want to build as a community at Northwest State. Um, and the, the last one is engaged community. Um, so we've, we've got those five pillars, and each pillar's got some strategies, and, and again, we're refocusing that. Um, there's a sixth goal that's not part of the the, pill, the five pillars, but it's fiscal su sustainability. Um, and there's, there's always this, this give and take, right? The, the budget isn't what drives what Northwest State does, but the budget provides the resources for those other five pillars to work. And if those five pillars are working, then we have no, more financial resources to reinvest in those five pillars. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a balancing act, right? We have, to, we have to manage our fiscal resources um, responsibly but intelligently to continue to move the college forward hmm. uh, and I'm really looking forward to, to next year we've got some good good items on the slate so the, this space being one of those oh, super cool yeah uh, there's been a I mean it's been a, a kind of just a change in and everything going into this this next year I mean we're coming out of COVID we're going into uh, your tenure here as president um, the new EVP coming in uh, just a lot of things changing, but I think we're going to kind of take those steps into the future, like you were saying, and continue to grow Northwest State and continue to, to succeed in those those five pillars you were talking about. Um, so do you have anything else for us before we wrap up here at all? Um, I don't think so. I appreciate having uh, JC back. Yeah. Not, Sam, you did a great job. Uh, but uh, So I've been talking to people, and, and they mentioned the talking with Todd, and, and it's, it's always, oh, we really like the talking with Todd. JC and CJ are hilarious. So they, they say we like talking with Todd, and then they spend 20 minutes talking about you two. So hey, thank you for what you do. Well, this is something we love to do, and thank you for letting us do it with you. We're, yeah. we're pretty, pretty excited to continue to work with you on a long-term basis. Yeah, so we're, so. we're excited about that. And on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. Yes, let's yeah. wrap it up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Talking with Todd. Uh, yeah, be another one coming out here shortly. So with that, in, that with that in mind, remember to stay excellent to each other. And party on, my dudes and dudettes. Peace, Peace out. out.